Hello loves, I'm coming at you bare-faced, no makeup. I thought that we would do a first impressions on some makeup from Tarte Cosmetics. I got sent some of these products because I had quote-unquote modeled for um, their pro team tryouts here in Miami and the, I guess, um, reimbursement for our time was $500 in product. So I thought that I would share some of the products and my first impressions on those products. Um, I don't have much experience with Tarte Cosmetics to begin with. I have like a few of their products, but not necessarily a brand that I've dove into for whatever reason. So I thought this would be a great video for you guys to see if you guys are interested in any of the Tarte Cosmetics. Some of the, um, some of the makeup is newer and others are like just standard in their in their line. So yeah, so let's jump right in. So I'm going to start with the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. This is kind of, as it says, a hydrating boost. It's just like a, like a lightweight moisturizer. It's very jelly and I'm just going to take a spatula and take some of it off. And I'm going to take from the spatula and just place it onto my hand. It's very cooling and very refreshing. And then I'm going to take the Clean Slate, it's a little dirty, the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer, also in a pot form, again with the spatula. It is a very thick consistency. Which isn't something I really care for, but... It's thick, but it doesn't feel thick on the skin. Then after the primer, I'm going to go in with the Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Sand. And this is interesting. It is potted. It's a thick consistency. You can see that it's like on its side and it's not running at all. But I think it's very interesting. I'm just going to take from the cap because I do have a good amount of product on the cap. I'm just going to take that, place it on my finger, and just kind of dot it on my face. So as you can see, so as you can see, I do have um, some acne scarring and like some birthmarks and like a little uh, pimple that is going away, hopefully sooner than later. So that's the areas that I would focus on looking just to see the coverage. I'm going to take this Tarte Kabuki brush and I'm just going to buff that into the skin. <coughs> this is a very dense brush. Like it's short haired and dense, like super dense. So it doesn't absorb too much of the product, which is nice because you don't want your tools absorbing too much of the product. And just buff that in. You can, if you can see on camera, it kind of looks lighter than my actual You can see that it is a little lighter than my actual skin tone, so we're going to see if that oxidizes. The color range for this particular foundation I thought it was a kind of tricky picking my shade just because the shade above was, it was a neutral tone so there was a little bit too much pink in it for me, but um, obviously this is already light so a shade below was going to be like I was going to look ghostly. So, but when I did try it in store, this did oxidize and it did match. So let's see. 
We're just going to apply just a, one more and see how that builds. And again with the kabuki brush. Always bring it down onto the neck. Okay, so off the bat, I do not like the application with this brush for this foundation. Um, I have, out of everything that I got, this is the brush, the Kabuki brush is the only thing that I have actually like played with. And for liquid foundations, it's beautiful. I loved how it applied it. But for this foundation, maybe because it is a little on the thicker side, I do not like how it applies. It looks streaky. So I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge and just kind of fix where it's a little streaky. But the brush in itself is amazing. Voila. Now we are going in. Excuse me. Now we are going in with the Rainforest of the Sea concealer. I chose the color light. We're just gonna shake that a little bit. And it has a huge doe foot applicator, which I think is so awesome. And we're just going to apply that in our regular areas. This concealer is to be full coverage, which I prefer. So we're gonna see how that all works. And with our real techniques, just blend that all out. We're going to use that as an eyelid primer as well. So I think it looks nice. I'm going to add just a dab in the inner corner, towards the inner corner, just because that is where I tend to have most of my darkness and I didn't um, color correct. And you really want to pinch the sponge to get in those corners. And two of the main things that I did not have were brows, which I have already applied, and um, powder. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Secret Trans... Um, oh my gosh, what is the name? I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under the eyes. And I'm just going to apply right where I crease mainly. And then I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Plus with this Tarte. It's another foundation brush. I'm not sure if it's for their powder foundation, but it's 
It's a big brush. I love it. I love the handle. I love the bamboo with the gold. We'll see. It really covers a lot of surface area. So it makes it easier for powdering as well. I like it. Now, let me just, let me brush away any excess powder that's under my eyes. And now we are going to go in and bronze the skin. I have here, this is, this is something I already had. I just didn't purchase a single, or I didn't request a single bronzer this time around. But I have the Park F Princess Contour Palette and it has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. So I'm just gonna go in to the Park Ave Princess Bronzer, and I'm using a Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. I'm just gonna go in and bronze up my face. So now that I'm bronzed, I am now going in with blush. The blush that I'm using is in um, Celebrated. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And I'm just going to take a NARS, I don't know the name of it, but I will leave it down below. Um, I'm going to just lightly tap it in here. You can see that it picks up a lot of product. So I'm going to tap that off. These blushes are super pigmented. And I'm just going to dab that on, pulling it back towards the temples. This is really just to give a light flush look. I'm not going for an intense makeup look. Every time that I'm trying out new products, I tend to do something that's on the lighter side just because that's how I can gauge products better. For highlight, I'm going in with the Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. There is two champagne, or one champagne and one more rose gold. And the other one is a matte highlight. I'm going to test out the matte because I am intrigued by it. I'm taking just a tapered brush. And I'm just going to actually try this under my eyes and see how I like it. I don't think it did anything crazy. I really don't see a difference. But I am going in with the, which one is this? I'm going in with the Champagne Gold first. And I'm just going to place that on the high points of my cheeks. And I'm just, just because I want to be extra, I'm taking now the Rosy Pearl. This is in Moonlight. The other is called Sunlight. I'm just placing that really on the high points. Can you guys see that? Do you see this glow? Oh my word. Just because I want to be extra. Now for eyes, I'm going to be using two palettes, one of which I already had, which is the Tartlet and Bloom, in case I want any matte shades. And then the other is the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. This is a beautiful palette. I love it. I think it's so pretty. But the only thing is that there really isn't any matte shades. There's maybe two, but I don't find them to be so matte. I find them to have more of a sheen to them. So to start off the eye, I am going in with... Um, actually, I'm going to set the lid first. 
And to set the lid, I am going in just with a blending brush and I'm going to take Flower Child, which is this shade right here, and just kind of set the whole lid. I like to set the lid just because I find that the colors will blend easier after applying a primer. If you guys ever feel that your, um, your shadows aren't blending as nicely, try setting your lid. I promise you it makes the world of a difference. Then I'm going in with just a different blending brush, or yes, a different blending brush, and I'm going to go in to Smarty Pants here and tap off the excess. And I'm going to tilt my head a little bit back and I'm going to place this into the crease. Really focusing the color on the crease. And when you get to the tail, I'm just going to wrap it around into like a C motion. And if you can see, I'm holding the brush towards the end, which gives you more control over the, the product. So if you're holding it super close, it's going to be like, it's going to be heavy. But if you hold it back, there's more control over it. And really, I'm just going to blend the shade up to the intensity that I choose. And I'm just going to do the same thing into the other eye. Really just going back and forth and building that up. Now I'm just going to take a fluffier blending brush. This is the Morphe G24. I love this to really blend out the edges. I feel like it just smokes it out beautifully. And now for the lid, I'm going to take a flat brush. This one is the MAC 242 brush. And I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up Starfish, and I actually want to use this color wet. So this here is the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. This is to really refresh your makeup, and it's a setting spray, and you can use it as a primer. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray my brush. Kind of just shake that out. Now I'm going to apply this to the lid. And then I'm going to take a more detailed brush. I'm going to take this one by Morphe. This is the E18. To kind of blend those edges out in the crease. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. And now with the same blending brush that we used to apply the Smarty Pants, I'm going to go in to Rebel. And I'm just going to place a little bit just on the tip, tap off the excess, and work this into the crease. So now that I deepened up my crease and just smoked it out to my intensity with Rebel, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Really focus that product into the crease and towards the outer, um, the outer third, and just whatever's left on the brush, then bring it, to, bring it in. And just bring that, bring whatever's left on the brush towards the inner corner and then just blend it out with the fluffier brush. So now I'm going to go in with the Eye Architect. This is an interesting product. I thought it was super cool. Um, on one side, it's the shadow, and it has like a sponge tip, and the shadow's in the cap, which is pretty cool. And then on the other side is a liner. It's a bronze liner. 
So I think that's super cool. It's definitely one of those products that if you're on the go, if you want something to just throw into your makeup bag, I think this is perfect. It's like a, a two, two for one, if you will. So I'm gonna take that shadow that's on the other side and I'm going to place that kind of on the center of my lid and see if that does anything just to zhuzh up the lid a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Kind of just added a little bit of an extra pop. And just to make sure, just blend that all. And I'm going to go ahead and take the liner and just go into my lash line. Actually, I'm not going to do the top, I'm going to do the bottom. So I'm going to take it and really work it in to my bottom lash line. And I'm only going to go about halfway. Actually. Really working that into the lash line. And the same thing to the other side. And now I'm going to take, where is it, what is it? And now I'm going to take a G20. It's just, it's another flat brush, but it's a little bit more thick. And I'm just gonna use that to really buff this out. Kinda give it more of a smoky look. And I'm actually gonna take some of the shade Smarty Pants to buff that out. Same thing to the other side. And I'm going to take some of that Rebel as well. Kind of focus that more towards the outer corner. blending everything out. I really like this little product. For the woman on the go, I think this is great. And especially for travel, if you just want one thing that you can just do really quickly, I definitely suggest that. For the eyeshadow palette, I really like it. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take a smaller detail brush and I'm gonna go into the color sand sand and seashell actually and I'm going to place this into the inner corner just to kind of open the eyes a little bit more and seashell is a really pretty like pinky color pinky pearl color So that's it for the eyes. I'm now going to go in with Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This mascara is super cool. On one side it's the classic Lights Camera Lashes and then on the other side is a mascara for your bottom lash with a tiny applicator. So we're going to start with the bottom lash. And now we're going to go in to the top lashes. I do like it. It coats the lashes very well. And I'm one of those people that I literally would go in with five coats of mascara, so it has to be good. Now for lips. I don't know the name of this lipstick, I do know the shade. This is in Cabana Boy. And can we just take a moment to talk about this packaging? Look how beautiful. The ombre from purple to gold, I love it. I love this packaging. 
I think it's so pretty. And for lipstick, this is kind of a mauve tone. On camera, it is picking up a little bit more pink, but is definitely a mauve tone. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it, as you would. It is very hydrating. As you apply it, it just slides onto the lips. As you can see, it's a glossy finish. Very hydrating. It's very lightweight on the lips, which is nice. And it's like a neutral, it's a neutral pink, if you will. Pink mauve. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And I'm just going to spray that on my face. Just to set everything. Uh, that's it for this look. Overall, I really like the products. The only thing I will say I do not like that the foundation is potted. I find that it will get messy super quickly or you have to, you're going to have to try your hardest not to get it messy. But I do like it. I like the consistency. It did, it did oxidize quite a bit, which you can see now it's all matching, which is definitely key. So my suggestion when you are trying to find the foundation in your shade would be to definitely test it on your hand in store and then walk around and, you know, see what else there is and just peruse just because it is going to take some time for it to oxidize. So you don't want to have to buy a shade and then re exchange it because you bought the wrong one. So just try it on, walk around, see what else is new and which could be trouble and then go back and see if it matches or not. So you can go up or down. But yeah, I love the products. I love the brand. I definitely love the star of the show for me it was definitely the skin twinkle. I love this highlight. It is giving me life. I love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked my first impressions and I hope that you guys kind of like this. It's almost like a tutorial at the same time. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys again in my next video.